Thank you. Well, there's something really interesting happening about now. Woody's beginning to listen to the radio really critically, almost as though it's for the first time. You know, I mean, he always was interested in the radio, and he's on the radio, but now he's like seriously listening, because the penny is dropping for him, and he's realizing that, that the popular music industry seems to be going out of its way to put people to to put people to sleep, to direct them, to, to, to soothe them, and, and, and to uh, ameliorate the situation, and to draw their attention away from the realities that he's seeing every day on the ground and on the picket lines and what have you. For instance, in uh, 1938, all, the, all of the migrants would be gathered around the one radio in the camp, if there was one, and they'd be listening to the biggest, you know, the latest hit coming out of the country music industry, the infant country music industry. Um, and this was uh, uh, hit by these fellas. Uh, anyone know who they are? The Carter family. The Carter family, <coughs> pretty much the first uh, group to turn country music into an industry. And they had a big, uh, big hit in, in 1938. They took an old Baptist hymn um, and countrified it. It was called "This World Is Not My Home." You, uh, you may know it. I don't know. If you know, it. like uh, you'll be glad to know I won't sing the whole thing, but to give you a sense of its uh, sentiments. Um, this world is not my home, I'm just passing through. My treasures and my hopes, they're all beyond the blue. Where many Christian children have traveled on before. And I've got no home in this world anymore. So just lay down and die then, hurry up, get it over with, because there ain't no depression in heaven, right? No vigilante men either. Now, let me clarify something. Woody was a Christian, very much influenced by the Christian socialism on the plains of Oklahoma. He revered the Carter family. He, he knew their whole catalog, front and back, that's how he learned to play guitar, Listen, wearing down their records. He knew everything they did. He loved the Bible. He knew it front ways, back ways, upside down, right side up. He used it a lot for his writing. He did not like the sentiments of that song. And my theory is this. The little angel of Joe Hill, about this big, scampered up his arm, stood on his shoulder, and whispered into his ear in a really bad Swedish accent. <laughs> And he said, you know, Woody, here's what I would do with that song if I were you. And uh, here's what Woody did. I ain't got no home. Well, I'm just traveling around. Just a wandering worker. I go from town to town. And the ponies make it hard wherever I may go.
got no home. I'm just a traveling around. I'm just a wandering worker. I go from town to town.